Hey guys, it's Haley from Blondie in the City. I'm gonna be reviewing something today and it is not like a typical everyday bag like I've done in the past. This one's more of a travel weekender bag and it is the Louis Vuitton Keep All, which looks like this. Now, this one is technically a men's bag because of the black trim. I, when I first saw this, like I wanna say three years ago, I was like, oh my God, that's the one I want. So I've always known I really wanted the men's. This is in the size 45. There's also a 55 in this style. So this is the smallest option for all of the key balls. For this one specifically with the black trim in the men's, there's only a 45 and a 55. All of the other ones have a 45, a 50, and a 55. So this is, I believe, the only one that has only two size options. This particular style, um, along with a few others, is technically known as the keep all bandoulière. I don't really like to say it, I sound really snooty, so I'm just gonna continue saying keep all, but if you're looking for it online, it does have that second word with it. Um, now when I went in to go buy this, I had a really hard time deciding what size I wanted. I loved the look of this one, but the size of the 55, I was like, I'll for sure be able to fit a lot more in there. I mean, okay, not a lot more, but I like more. Oddly, the price difference between the 45 and the 55 is, uh, is only $40. So, I mean, if you want something a little bigger, it's not really gonna cost you much more. I use this a lot when I go to my parents' house for the weekend or something like that. Um, they only live in Orange County, so I don't need to bring like this huge suitcase because I don't have to fly anywhere. I literally just bring this. I'm able to fit my makeup bag, my toiletry bag, some pajamas, an outfit for the next day, a curling iron, a straightener, and if I need a blow dryer, I can bring that too. If I'm not bringing my blow dryer and the round brush, then I can easily fit my laptop and the charger in here. So it's like perfect for what I need to bring for a weekend. Um, it's also a great carry-on. When I went to Park City, I used this to stuff like three coats in it because obviously the coats take up a lot of room and I didn't want to put that in the luggage. So this was good for that. For me personally, it fits just enough. Um, for other people that carry a lot with them, then the 55 may be a little more substantial for you. In my opinion, as far as I can remember, when I held the 55 up next to me, I was like, oh my God, this is way too big for me. Like I'm 5'2", I'm a small person, and I this looked like it was bombarding me. This was like the perfect size for me, but I was a little nervous that I wasn't going to be able to fit that much in it. But I was wrong because I can easily fit what I need to in the bag. So for the inside of it, there are no pockets. Um, I personally like it that way. The inside is like a burgundy color. Um, I The way I like to fit things in it is I put like the makeup and toiletry stuff over here and then I use the rest of it to like stack everything else. There are some sites out there that offer bag inserts with pockets and zippers and stuff like that to put in these Louis Vuitton bags that don't have compartment spaces. So if you do prefer compartment spaces, I don't know what this site is called, but I know they're on Etsy. So if you are interested in getting something like that because you like to have things in their actual place, then um, yeah. You can find that on Etsy. It does have a shoulder strap for you to carry and obviously these to carry as well. You can get this stamped. I clearly did not. Um, it does have a lock over here. I don't use it. Um, and then this little guy, I don't really know what it does either. And it's just, it just hangs. So with the monogram canvas, the front side is going to have the um, LV facing like normal upright. And then the back of it, it is going to be upside down because the way they make it, it's one full thing of leather, if that makes sense. So if you are thinking about getting this bag, I do recommend it, I love it. Um, I don't recommend it as your first Louis bag slash first designer bag in general. I know that sounds like a no brainer, but I made that mistake three or four years ago. I can't remember exactly, but I bought this bag and it came in, I was so excited. It was beautiful and I loved it. And then my mom came over and we were gonna go for dinner and I couldn't use my new bag. And I was like, Fuck, why did I get this now? 
I ended up returning it the next day, like two or two days after, and I got the Pouchette Matisse, which quickly became one of my favorite bags. I do have a bag review on it. I still love it and I still use it all the time. And it's actually one of my favorite travel bags um, to have as a crossbody. Excuse me. 